Taking care of a cat or dog is challenging enough, but imagine what it's like when your animal bestie is over 15 feet tall. We sent Fig out to learn more. Taking care of an 18-foot giraffe is one tall order, but some people rise to the occasion, like animal care specialist Becca McLaughlin, who's at the top of her profession. I've always loved the hooved mammals. I got into horses at a young age, and as I was exploring the exotic animal world, I really just fell in love with anything with a hoof, especially the giraffe. So I trekked to the Bee Bryant Preserve because I just hoofed to see how Becca cares for the tallest living terrestrial animals on the planet. Hey, Becca. Hi, Fig. Oh, wow, what's going on? I am feeding some giraffe over here. And they're huge. I imagine that it takes a lot to be able to keep them healthy and safe. It's definitely a lot of work. They're about 3,000 pounds. They eat about 75 pounds a day wow. each. So that's a lot of food. So we're always putting up different fun items for them to interact with and eat from. We also do some medical procedures, helping care for them, lots of training to help all the things that go into keeping their space clean and enriching and making sure they're happy and healthy. So tell me about how you use science in your job. So science is a big aspect of a lot of the animal care here. So understanding their natural history, a specific animal's biology, what the needs are for certain species, and also the medical side. Different medical procedures we need to do for them, radiographs, hoof trims, all of that really comes back to having a big science base. So a radiograph machine, that's an x-ray, right? Yes, it's an x-ray machine so we can see what's going on in any bones. We can see their teeth, we can see their joints. Do you want to come see some of our giraffe training that we do? Yeah, let's go. All right, let's head out this way. Becca introduces me to Jagger, the preserve's largest giraffe. He's too big to go into a typical x-ray machine, which is why Becca and her team are using a mobile radiograph to check his teeth. So how do you get a giraffe to hold still? Because I do know that in x-rays, you can't be moving. Jagger is trained for this called a tongue target behavior. So he'll stick his tongue out, <laughs> reach on my fingers, and that keeps him from chewing. And that enables us to be able to take an image without his mouth moving around. Then he gets a nice treat afterwards. And then he gets a treat. <laughs> So it looks like we have some machines and equipment here. What are they gonna be used for? So this is the generator that Mackenzie has and Cassidy has the plate. Mackenzie will hold up the generator. It will project an image across Jagger's jawline, hit the plate, and that's where the image kind of lands. Okay. X-ray. Great, hey, Jagger. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was great. Wow. <laughs> The mobile radiograph wirelessly sends any image it takes to a monitor where the medical team can review the results. So no cavities, no dentures or braces are needed? Nope, <laughs> Jagger's teeth look great. All right, what other things can you take x-rays of? We could look at their neck vertebrae, knees, fetlock joints, and probably most importantly is hooves. Maintaining the feet of these giraffes is critical for their overall health. After all, supporting up to 3,000 pounds is a lot of work for a hoof that's only seven inches wide. Out in the savanna, these African natives trek over 10 miles a day on tough ground that naturally files down their hooves. But life on the preserve is slower and the soft grass here doesn't quite do the trick. When their hooves get too long, it can become painful, almost like an ingrown toenail on a human. Ouch! So Becca shows me how she prepares for these medically required giraffe pedicures. All right, so this is Jimmy. Oh, wow. So what's the first step when you get started? So we've got a bunch of tools here. First off, we'll use our hoof pick. So it's got a brush and a pick end, and so we'll use this to clean out the foot, get all the dirt out, uh, so then we can see the hoof material and I can start trimming. Then she uses a hoof knife to smooth and trim down the growth. So he's just got some extra hoof growth here. So we can just take that off and that will help it be more comfortable. The last step is buffing with some intense machinery. You know, this is exactly uh, what happens to me when I go get a pedicure. Getting a full pedicure yeah. while eating some of his favorite <laughs> snacks. It's really, it's quite a luxurious yeah. event. Can I take a look? 
Yeah, absolutely. Wow, it's so smooth. All right, 10 out of 10. The best draft pedicure I've ever seen. Ah. That's awesome. You can really tell that you guys put a lot of care into these animals. Well, thank you. <laughs> if you're watching this, you must have really liked the video. Make sure you follow and subscribe and check out these other videos that are even better. No, really, I've seen this one over a hundred times.